and welcome back to the Eternal Cycle Origins. So, Atlantis is above you. Mm -hmm. The sea is around you. And I'm an L. You got yeeted <laughs> to hell for being the a little bit of a The pencil are around you specifically, but he's talking more about us. <laughs> yeah. Um... I need you to roll a willpower check against a hard. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, delightful. That's why I said we're going to be starting with you. But I need a challenge dice against a hard, please. So 15 or higher. 11. Now you can do it. Oh, delightful. <laughs> so you guys were standing around her as you guys finally hear the horn for battle. <laughs> she faints. Shit. Should Just be. drops much like he did, except he didn't have the force of Ty bearing down on him. Ty loses his shit in front of you, which you will have to deal with. Oh, okay. yeah, You just fainted. So Ty is now trying, going to be trying to break out, open a dimension into hell. Uh, you really don't need to go that far, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah kind of realize after a quick couple of blinks you're no longer on the seafloor you're walking on kind of this mosaic painting where it's kind of one of those where it's chalked outlines where it's the the black you've got the white light in front of you you can't really see anything but you actually physically see the texture it is weird All right. as you look around again there is only this light you also see a dart in the background. You hear. That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's something that's wanting to attack me and just ready my weapons into a uh, dim mock stance. Oh, did you immediately dim mock? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in the mood to be <laughs> dealing with any additional <laughs> bullshit. As you <laughs> slam your wrist. <laughs> Uh, try to follow it now. Like I'm the ready. The sound or yeah. the light? Hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn. This is a hard choice. <laughs> It's like, should I deal with this, or should I get back to what hopefully leads me to what I was doing before I fell unconscious? <laughs> What's the more pressing matter here? What is the more pressing matter here? <laughs> For the audience, he's squirming <laughs> so much, this is great! As a GM, I've got to yeah. talk about this for a moment. He is so uncomfortable, this is great. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long to my decision. Oh, no, it's a hard oh, decision! Shit. I'm going to interest that Black Rose hopefully has a way to get me out of this, if need be, to do whatever the hell he needs me to continue doing when I need to, but I need to fucking deal with this now, so I'm going to follow this, the sound of the... The splotching? Yeah. So you kind of look at the light, you look at the darkness, again, it's that pastel kind of chalky smear lines everywhere, mm -hmm. you kind of look back and forth, and you just... Take a slow left to the darkness. Mm -hmm. You notice Ty start to drop and start to change. As his skin starts to go, his hair goes from that pitch black to white. Oh. Oh, no. You also notice she starts to gain a visible, pale-skinned, dark-haired look. You guys are fucking in for it now! <laughs> <laughs> I'm unrestricted, you don't understand! Hey, listen. Black Rose. Uh, 
Black Rose goes, uh-oh. I got a problem. <laughs> a serious fucking problem. I have to look at my other spell sheet now. <laughs> Quarantine. <laughs> The Try. entire <laughs> Brotherhood and White Lotus Corps drop. As they, <laughs> as they all start doing this and they start shifting back and forth between their alter egos. Hmm. Yeah, Black Rose agrees. <laughs> <laughs> I have chosen poorly, my friends. <laughs> well, we'll get back to you in a second. Rosgris! Hi. You are sitting on Reggie's doorstep again, having been knocked completely and utterly to hell with a one-shot of which you didn't think was possible. You are now questioning your life decisions. However, doesn't ignore the pressing fact you're still kind of standing in on Reggie's doorstep instead of the entrance. So after a couple of hesita hesitations <laughs> whether or not you're going to actually knock or not, you do decide to knock on the door. No one answers. You notice up that the air is quite red and dark. Because normally it's quite tropical down here. And Satan is usually in a good mood, however... The sky is starting to look like the biblical versions of hell. Red lightning clashing, black as night, clouds, thunder. And you swear in the distance you hear flames. Not sure where they're coming from, but they're there. This is not a good day. <laughs> this head locks up and goes, ah! No, it's not. Good thing I don't have to deal with that. Hey, boss. Ah! <laughs> I have an order for you. I need you to go to Egypt. For? You're looking for a man named... Oh, that's dumb. Hmm. He kind of looks at his contract. I don't remember making this contract. Hold on, I gotta go talk to legal for a minute. I didn't make this contract. He shows you the contract and the name on the contract. Mm -hmm. And it only says Raja. Could never trust an Indian. Raja, R A Z A. Well, I mean, if it's a contract, it's a contract. Yeah, cool. Because I'd rather not bring in my judge. And what? he kind, he kind of looks, nods towards the door. What? Oh, you didn't know. Choose your judge. If you fail, you need to call him. Hmm. Fun! <laughs> well, you've got two oh, weeks! By the care. way, um... Yeah, some fuckery happened up top, by the way. Oh? Yeah. Actually, you want to come for some fun? As much as I love making Atlantean deals... Things are more pressing right now. He kind of looks up. Yeah, I just got one shot down here, so that's why I was asking if you wanted to come have fun. Not my business. <laughs> Good luck. As <laughs> 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 he walks <laughs> off. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> See ya, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going oh. back. <laughs> my first soul collection is listed. Yep. Raja, R-A-Z-A, he is in Egypt, and you have two weeks to somehow get to him. I'll figure out something. You have a personal quest that you have to complete within two weeks, otherwise consequences. 
Oh no, the judge goes to, c- to collect the soul and he doesn't get to collect his half. Yeah. And then you're in more shit in s- Hell's Kettle. And remember, you want souls to use. Yeah. Souls empower demons immensely. Everybody's That's why I got a time it. frame of two weeks. Yeah. Two, well, you have two weeks because the contract is up and he is a dealer. Yeah. He also is quite concerned about the contract because he specifically stated he, he didn't make, make this contract, but he has it. Yeah. Somebody bequeathed it onto him or they slipped it into his fucking shit. No, they slipped him the folder. Yeah. Which means somebody else doesn't want this contract because it's not a good fucking deal. Yeah. Somebody skipped out and they fucking threw it to him. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, take this freebie if you can. Good luck. That's that's <laughs> literally what happened is somebody slipped this contract into his paperwork <laughs> because they couldn't collect. Yeah. And it still needs to be collected. So it goes to a better, more dangerous dealer. <laughs> and Azazel's a lord. Yeah. There's only one step above him when it comes yeah. to collecting. I got a bad juju collection. You got a really bad juju collection. And yeah. I rolled that a couple of days ago, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, man. Shit. You see them start to fluctuate after quarantine has been issued. Black Rose is standing, and you guys, hmm. That's the word of the day, isn't it? Hmm. Because hmm. really, what the fuck do you say about this other than it's a pretty light show? It's a pretty light show, but what does it mean? It's, considering it's the Purge Realm, that they are tied to the Purge Realm, and considering that this is what happens when they experience a shift... It, it's a bunch of bullshit, but... <laughs> Black Rose starts laughing because he obviously knows, but he enjoys your explanation. <laughs> <laughs> it was way totally metaphorical, yeah. but he's just enjoying your explanation to yeah. just let you finish. <laughs> but something's going... But obviously, there's someone here fucking with their... with the side of... with their flipping light and dark. I never considered trying to actually influence it naturally, but then again, we didn't know you could. Well, obviously they can influence it by emotions. Well, yes, that's how you get... He kind of looks at the Blood Brother, kind of nods towards the Blood Brothers. So I wonder... Hey, Nieta! <laughs> how do you feel about a calming spell? Or nine? Kind of walks out of the tent. Make that, make it ten. <laughs> yes, you chase it after him. <laughs> yep. All right. You want to do anything, or you want to keep with the same? Uh, I'll do something. All right. What do you want? I to guess do? I'll work on. Um, I guess while I'm here doing nothing, I'll work. I'll put a point into primordial lessons. Okay. That's seventeen. Nice. Good to go. Good. I could have used that a little bit ago. <laughs> you could have. I could have. As you kind of follow the voice, you start to get colder. Hmm. More empty. Ooh. Oh, no. Whoa. Hey. Oh, hey there. Calm down there, Phil. Yeah. Volume's a thing. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. So unprofessional. Um... <coughs> Shit. Probably should have went for the light. <laughs> but. Follow the scene as you yeah. want to, man. Relax. Follow the scene. As Aldrea, how do you feel? Look around. Yeah. Do what you need. Come I'll do a perception check. Okay. What are you aiming for? Perception of yourself or your surroundings? Uh, the surroundings more. Okay. So I don't know where that. I'm, I'm still trying to yeah, triangulate the, 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 where no, the, the... the droplets have completely disappeared. You're now walking almost in empty blindness. Oh, shit. Yeah. It got you that far away. Yeah, so I need to triangulate to try to get back. Three! I ain't going fucking you nowhere! Are lost. Shit! <laughs> I need you to add a D4 out of one. If it reaches four, you flip. Oh, cool. 
You've lost your first point to the darkness. Yeah. Physical form, you walk over. <laughs> As you're working on your monad, you feel the shift. Mm-hmm. You feel it happen. You feel Aldrea get just her normal, happy, bubbly, like, feeling of, of aura that is around her. Mm-hmm sinks the darkness that comes from her the the emptiness just expands exponentially yeah however mm-hmm. you do get a little bit of help for this next roll because right. Nieta is going to start counter casting yeah we all know Nieta's stats huh yeah. OP. 17 and a 15. You get a plus 10 to your next roll. Cool. Nice. My dice would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. If Should've. you get a 20, you completely and utterly overwhelm what it's like. Yeah. Just because of that bonus. Yeah. That bonus will null and void it. You arrive back on into your body. However, you notice that your body has been moved to a cot, and what's surrounding you kind of scares you, because as you sit up, you notice that both Ty and Aldrea are unconscious, and they're flipping between light and dark. Blood sisters and brothers. Yeah. A terrible set of uh, circumstances has unfolded, and this is the results. Behold, the birth of a bastard. <laughs> if you try something, I will kill you. Because <laughs> Nieta is right there. I'm not going to. I'm just <laughs> warning you. <laughs> Nieta is literally right there casting spells trying to counter. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw the smile on your <laughs> damn ass face. Just, just I, I get up. I'm like, not my problem. I go look for the Black Rose. Black Rose is in his office right now and roll. Perception. Medium challenge. Turn or higher. Alright. Okay. Fifteen. Yes. So as you get close, um the mid and black rose are definitely engulfed in some form of conversation. Black Rose wants to send scouts into the city ahead of time. Try to get a lay of the land. Namid doesn't disagree with that, but they have to be Atlanteans, which Black Rose is completely and utterly against. Hmm. Because none of the Atlanteans are willing to take his mark. All the Atlanteans you guys have are mercs. Yeah. And they're not willing to go that far. Mm-hmm. Well, they're willing to go as far as the paycheck goes, and yeah. you guys pay exorbitantly well. Yeah. And it's still too much. <laughs> Your payment is literally, they are fed, clothed, yeah. fully armored with unisynced arm, armor and weapons, and that is what you guys provide them. Yeah. They just have to go fight a war for you. That sounds great. Yeah. And it's good accommodations most of the time. <laughs> you tell me I'm gonna get state of the art tech if I do one job for you. That's Itchin. that's literally the promise yeah. of Black Rose's <laughs> army is that you are literally taken care of as long as you are you are a soldier. Yeah, pretty fucking good deal. It's a really good deal. Hmm. As you kind of like. You have to push the tent. Yeah. yeah. Push the tent aside. They stop and they go, ah. Wondered when you would awake. Might I offer an idea? Uh, it depends. Well, you two were just talking about, you know, spying. And That's more we need to lay the land. Well, I could attempt something. Depends. You don't want to let an Atlantean go in without your mark. 
he wants it to be in Atlantean. It has to be. Uh, in the mid chimes in, it has to be in Atlantean or they'll pick him up. What about someone that's possessed? <laughs> you would never make it two feet. You don't think we haven't prepared for demons? It's just like thoughts. You kind of just, well, as much as that is a good thought, we're not fighting Atlanteans. We're fighting the lieutenants. As I was telling him, which you didn't hear, the lieutenants are actually the ones we're fighting. My father is dangerous, but an Atlantean's downside is they have no foresight, no foreseeable damage of what they could do when they get what they want. They want what they want, and they'll get what they want. So, my father, more specifically my mother, was smart my mother was smart enough to convince him to hire other people and take a mark of his own. We're having to worry about their lieutenants and the lieutenants that they have hired underneath them. We'll need to kill three of three to six of the minor officers to get a lieutenant to pop out. And that's if you can catch a hold of one of them little bastards. And each layer, and he points out, there are six layers, has a lieutenant before we can even storm the keep. As I was trying to explain to the Lord here, it's built to never be broken. The fact that we are this close means we have to be immensely careful. No army has ever breached the gates of Atlantis. Yeah, I just need to get this done quick, because I'm on a timetable. Black Rose raises an eyebrow. I got orders from my other boss. Mm. I got two weeks. Well, to collect start some running. soul from a dude in Egypt. Start running. He points in the direction. Egypt's that way. I'll be back as soon as I can. Good luck. <laughs> Do you, what's your super speed? Um, it's a five. Okay, you're not creating a sonic boom. That's what I was asking for, because if you had just launched in a sonic boom, you could have alerted them. Yeah. That's why I was just thinking Oh, about I would have been careful not to go that fast. At least until you're farther away. Right. So where it sounds like the ground naturally moving. Right. All right. So, yeah. you will be indisposed of. I need you to roll a D... One, two, nine. We'll take you four parts of the day to make it to Cairo. Well, the rebuilding of Cairo. Gotta use the restroom. We'll call it here. Cool. Cool.